okay so it's been a while that i've shot a video like this so i'm going to get back to what i like or rather love doing um, so finally uh, the silencer for the rx100 is back from the plating guys and it looks awesome it looks almost brand new and we also have the little mechanic who has come to help us and hopefully she doesn't create more problems than i can handle right now okay so that is something that we'll do other than that um, we had a shipment from kashmir so this is an original rd350 mudguard which had some work so this one i am going to get this repaired and then we'll get it plated and we'll put it on this then i also got an rxz uh, body kit but something happened in the shipping as you can see it is broken so these things don't really do well in shipping i have the tail panel with me which is from my old build uh, which is this this has a slight issue like you can see um, it's slightly broken from one of the sides uh, and also this is almost cracked it's also pretty dirty um, so what i need to do is i need to actually create another kit using this tank so my plan for this tank is i am going to paint this in the rxz five speed red color and i'm going to paint the entire kit in that color and keep it for the next rxz which is coming so though the maroon is a nice color but i don't think i want a maroon vehicle i am going to try something new so we'll go back to the rx100 and let me put you guys on a tripod and then we will uh, install the silencer on the rx100 okay So finally, um, 
the silencer is in but there is a small problem actually one of the um, studs that goes into the cylinder where the bend pipe um, is bolted is spinning freely so anyways the plan is to get rid of uh, the cylinder uh, because as far as i remember um, you know the mechanic who rebuilt it around 1 lakh kilometers ago told me that it's a sleeve that he is putting in so i am not very hopeful about this i have a first oversize cylinder so most likely i will install that uh, apart from that it is slightly noisy uh, nothing more than that so it's okay it's still running plus this one is running in the rxz so i can take that also in between um, so this silencer will soon go into the rxz because I kind of like that silencer look plus um, <coughs> since I put the new silencer in uh, the cat silencer the performance has gone down dramatically so I'm not enjoying the new silencer feel so that is the plan about the RX next uh, we will move to the RD350 once the RX is you know completed so all i have to do is just paint the engine cases on the rx and change the cylinder so this is the mudguard which came from kashmir today it's bloody heavy and the thickness is also pretty nice so this is how an original mudguard used to be it is missing one of these um, clamps so that i have to put plus i'm thinking that i'll take my rd next week and then you know match these holes also get the holes also drilled properly and then we'll give this for plating along with this we will also give the silencers for plating i also need to get the u clamp which comes in the back um, fixed so that has some minor issues so that needs to be repaired so it's just the two um, silencers the bend pipes and the mudguard rear mudguard i haven't thought about plus i have to actually get the shock absorber springs also uh, plated so it's a small bunch not going to be a whole bike as such but that will bring a huge change so that is the plan uh, rims i'm planning to go for new rims because plating these rims won't be a great idea uh, but i need one of these rims for the rear um, so maybe what I'll do is I'll have one of these rims retained for the front I will actually get the Honda Unicorn rim and also <coughs> I need to get these spokes zinc dipped or maybe plated mm, at least not in this look so that is a plan uh, it's been a while since I've been working on the bikes on a video though I worked on the show Shaolin last Sunday uh, video for that is also coming pretty quick um, so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed what you saw if you like seeing these kind of stuff then please like share and subscribe uh, the channel has reached new heights which i never thought we have actually crossed 4000 subscribers which is not an ordinary feat so i actually uh, i'm very happy that at least there are some people who you know can relate to whatever i do so thanks a lot for watching thanks a lot for the support have a great day bye bye